I cannot believe I am finally able to make this video that I've been wanting to make for a few days now. Um, and hopefully I'm going to try to keep it to the point. Let's see here. I want to address the person who said that I took my tweets down because I was afraid of what was coming up and that they had a big panel planned if I didn't do that from uh, Lisa and Rory on a panel and you had a big panel planned and that I was smart to take them down. Um, those tweets were not taken down, had nothing to do with that. In fact, I, you know, they didn't even, I didn't even know one existed before the other. I had received some just advice from a friend and I decided to take it another way. So please don't take that as you intimidated me to take those down. I didn't, if I could put those back up right now. I guess, I don't know, just for spite, I would. So do whatever you um, want to do. Uh, I have asked you plenty of times in the past, and I'm asking you now to leave me alone. Stop talking about me. Stop trolling me. Stop making up troll names to troll me. Just stop. And, you know, that's all that I have wanted and all that I have asked for for years. So that's that. <clears throat> I want to address a couple of things just because I heard these and they're on my mind and they're just lies. Now, because I haven't addressed things, things have just spiraled completely out of control. And I'm assuming that this person that I'm talking to right now, who just said that to me, thinks that they can just, you know, say whatever they want because I don't defend it, so it just goes. And that is what I've done purposely. I've, I've been asked to do that, and that's why I'm not responding and then just letting you go on for years about that. And um, I did catch a couple of things because there's just so many to catch because all you're doing is lying about me. A couple of things I caught real quick is you said that I had said that I had paid Lisa back. That's a lie. I never said that at all. Please show me where I said that or admit that you're a liar. I said I had sent a $100 payment via PayPal um, with some sort of a message that this is not, you know, a, of course, paying it back. This is just kind of like a... A little tiny bit of earnest money to say, like, let's work together, let's get together, and let's talk, and let's figure this out and come to a resolve on this. And as I have said, I have written her emails to try to, to speak directly to her so we can have some sort of resolve because she has an idea and has had an idea and has spread an idea of which everybody believes because I never, because I was told not to, address it on social media or any place like that. I was told not to, and I've, I've done just that. And I'm proud of myself that I can do just that. It's a lot easier when you don't have little troublemakers as friends spreading things behind your back. The only friends or the friends that I have on here haven't done that, wouldn't do that, and are grown adults that are not just here just to fight and cause problems. And it's very refreshing that I could speak to them, that they have actually videos every day I did in my little group of, you know, they kept me company while I was in the hospital and in recovery all that time. Nothing about that's ever been spread. Nothing about anything's ever been spread. Why? Because that's a real friend. You don't do that to another friend. And God has blessed me with the ability to find people like that. Okay? So, um, that was a lie that you said. Either that or produce where I said I have paid Lisa back because I don't lie. And I have not said that. The other thing that you said was, um, Lindy, I'll say your name, is that in the tweets I said that I wanted to attack everybody. 
I never said I wanted to attack everybody. Please show me where I said I wanted to attack everybody. But normally, those are two just little tiny ones out of just massive amounts of lies that have spewed from your mouth, much of which I have in a folder. But, um, you know, I can't correct it. I was told I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not correcting it. I'm not correcting it. I'm letting it go. And I'm letting you say and spread lies and defame and do all the things that you're doing. And I'm asking you again to please stop. Please stop. That's all that I'm asking you. Stop. It's lies. You have an obsession over me and you have had for over seven, eight years, which is now coming out in the form of just lurking coming out and all this that's been out. If anybody looks a little bit deeper, they can see that. Speaking of to the other person that I, um, I gave my number to, please call me. Please call me. The um, amount of money that you're out, I can guarantee you that you will um, right away have that money back maybe even plus some. You can make the money back that you have plus some. Just do the right thing and give me a call. I'm, I'm really, I, I forgive you. All that's in the past. I just, if you really want to do the right thing, please do the right thing and help people with that. People. Just not by telling lies or anything, just by the truth. That's all. I wanted to also add, just because I wanted to before and I haven't had a chance, um, I find it, I, was, I just thought it was really funny. Just funny. A, a whole group of people that, are, that were, for some reason, protecting Stewie and just believed that. When if it was anybody else, I mean, Stewie, you must be in the group because there's like, I, I, I pictured that I was talking to somebody. Two groups of people. One that he attacked relentlessly and one that he protected. So if you're in the group that he protected, of course, he's innocent right now. If you can't see, and I, would, I say this regardless of who it would be that, that this was between, that... He obviously knew and found out he's, he's a troll. He's been around. He's not going to get catfished like that. He did it for the money. He was, what I, I'm sorry to say, gay for pay. Or he really did develop feelings, but he still took the money, one or the other. But there's no way all that time went by and he never knew. He knew. He did it for the money. You can even now tell because of some of the receipts that have come out with all the cards, all the money, everything. He took advantage of him, of just lurking. Something I find it so ironic because you came at me left and right, Stewie, all the time, scamming, 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 and I scammed no one, no one. Alone is not scamming. What you did is scamming. You scammed. Now, I do appreciate that you have... I was wondering why you've left me alone. I was wondering, and now I kind of know. But that's all they wanted to say on that. Um, I don't know you to go real life. It's just words on the internet. That's, it's totally... It's cool. It's kosher. I'm going my way. You know, um, it would be nice, but I know you won't do it, is to validate what Just Lurking is saying, but you won't because you don't also want to be called a scammer, which is what you did. I will add at the end here that, remember, I heard you, and there is you on video talking about how you were working, and the man that gave you a shot and taught you everything and uh, he trusted you. you, when you learned everything, you undercut him and took his customers, okay? That's the kind of person you are. That there was a man that trusted you, taught you everything, and you took this businessman's customers. You're a piece of shit, Stewie. 
You're a piece of shit. You use women on here for money, whoever ever else. You put your little, you, you purposely say, I don't want to put my PayPal up because I'm not here for money. <gasps> I'm a knight on a white horse. No, you're not. You're a piece of shit. And the people who are protecting you, are, it's because they know how you are and you protect them. It's a game. I, I laughed. I saw all of, it was a G Mangos or T, Mr. T's, and they all were like not following the money. When do you not follow the money? It was all like, poor, poor Stewie. He didn't know. He knew. He's a troll. He knew. There's money involved. How come now we don't have to follow the money? Suddenly we don't have to follow the money because it's a troll that wasn't bad against you. It's all a, just a game. It's a game. And uh, let's see, what else did I want to say? I had some points. Please subscribe to this because hopefully if this app works well enough, I can use this. Because I'm not in a position right now that I can just easily do this. Um, as you know, I was forcibly, <laughs> forcibly removed. And I'm uh, currently right now living in a, a shelter with five other people. And um, so there you go. Run with that. Uh, yeah, I, I weigh 350 pounds and I've gained weight. And let's see, what else can you say? What else can you say? Say it. Say it, because I just don't care. There's nothing that you can do to me that I care about at all. It's dots on a screen. I have my life. I have my friends. And I'm never going back. Oh, I'll add to Miss Rory, Miss Vegas, and your little lies you keep on going on with. Speak to me one-on-one -on, -one on on um, the asylum. Maybe he'll do it. Maybe, his, maybe he'll, he'll set it up. Someplace fair. Speak to me on there and show me where I owe you money. Show me the proof. What a, you couldn't have a bigger lie if you tried. You couldn't have a bigger lie if you tried. And abused my dog? Lies. Lies. Abandoned my dog? I've tried to get a hold of you to get my dog. Okay? I can show the proof on that. You're lying. I can show the proof in the text messages when this happened and I, when this went down, that it was planned out this way, that I was going to move in here and then I was going to get things all set up because I had health issues. I had mobility issues. And you were helping me just like I helped you. I took care of your dog all that summer while you were gone spending $115,000 in two months is what you went through, Rory, for your quote-unquote rape scheme that you have. And if you keep on wanting to go, just leave me alone. I'm not Wendy Lee, Rory, okay? I'm not Wendy Lee. Leave me alone. I know all of the time you troll me. I know your trolling style because you're always drunk when you do it. So I'm always going to be 12 steps ahead of you because you're drunk when you do it. You tell on yourself. You, you, <laughs> like when you used to come in with your own name and ask questions about yourself. You're not even worth talking about. You're not even worth it. You're just a little shit stir. You wouldn't Rachella should go away and, and skip down the road and hold hands because you're little shit stirs that want no resolve. I see the whole communities down here turning into like little Stepford people because you can't speak up for things because everybody has something over everybody's head and all of your hands are dirty with something or you're afraid of something. It's just laughable when you sit back and you watch it. You watch who you protect and you watch who you don't and it's a bunch of game done by a bunch of really old people. Like myself, I'm old too. I put myself in that category so don't worry about it. We're all old. We're all gonna die soon. We all have people who are dying and we're doing this. This is ridiculous. And it's ridiculous that you keep, because all you can say is that you think I want back in the community. Why? I never wanted in it. The bottom of YouTube? If I wanted, I, I left. I wasn't kicked out. I left. 
I always left, and I was always followed. I left and made my way with the Nick and Nina thing. I was followed. I left and made my way to the Periscope thing. I was followed. You guys follow all over. The reason why Lindy and Lurking were over here were because of me, 100% because of me. MV Race, why is she here? Because of me, following me over here and stalking. Because you're a bunch of crazy psychopaths is what you are. And I'm so glad that I'm mentally, I'm not perfect at all, at all, and and into where I want to be. But I'm glad that I'm out of the fog. I'm glad that I'm able to have even a a small, tiny bit of myself back again, and that which had nothing to do with YouTube. Nothing. My problems had nothing to do with anybody on YouTube, anything on YouTube, nothing, zero. My therapy, we spent, you know, a few sessions total over all this, over since February 13th, 2020, talking about YouTube. It's not it. Let's see, what else did I want to talk about? I knew I should make a little note. So go ahead, do your your thing, uh, Lindy, if that's what you, if if that was the only reason. I'm I'm asking you not to because I'm I'm purposely on here saying I want to be left alone. But if you do, I have have, uh, room in the file for it. For your more lies. That's all it's going to be. It's funny that... Um, I, I hear in these, these hangouts, I've, I've, the reason I've lurked more over here and been over here is because of what happened with my friend Berg and Jill. I tried to be there to help Berg, who's a very good person. He's a very good man. And, oh, speaking of, Lindy, why don't you give him some validation? Give him, him an answer. Give Chris an answer. He asked you. It's obvious that you had those videos, those horrible videos about his mother made. Just lurking, thank you, admitted it. Come clean and validate that and say you're sorry or something. But he's made videos to you asking and you just, and you just, because you're caught between a rock and a hard place. You can't address it because you don't want to piss off just lurking. Obviously, you piss off just lurking, he drops all the stuff for the past eight years. So you're sitting there right now, clenching it right now. You're clenching it because your house of cards, wow, can, I, can, you, can you hold it up some more? How long can you hold it up for? How long can you hold it up for? But I do what I want. If uh, I have places that I go, I have a group that I started during the Russia-Ukraine conflict over on Facebook that I, I gave to somebody else who was an admin there because I had stopped going there. But during it, I was there a lot, and, and it gained a lot of support. Not monetarily-wise, nothing was done, but good people who were talking about that. There's other places on here that I love to go that have told me some of the places that you guys have tried to go there and lie, and I'm protected. They're not going to believe you ever. My friends are not going to. You're not going to. You're not going to get me because you're lying about me, and one day it'll all come out. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I don't know if it's two years. I don't know if it's five, but it will happen. It will happen. Trust me on that. It will happen. And then a lot of people can come out and say, wow, I can finally talk. Because I talk to those people who say, you know what? I don't want to make any comments. She'll make videos. I talk to them. All the people that you intimidated and you still do, and they won't say anything now, and you'll make a video, and you'll say, good day, everyone. It's Monday. And where'd you get that from? I know where you got that from, because you mirror everything, Lindy. You're, you're fake. You're all fake. You've projected everything that you've said about everybody else is you, is you. It would suck being in a house or going out knowing that if the police stop you and, and, and run the records right, you'll be taken away. That would suck, and that's the truth. That would really suck. So why you're doing this online, what you get out of it, I don't know. I guess because you've been fat and happy for so long and not gotten caught. 
January 16th, uh, a new law was passed. It's been one by one by one. Cyber laws had been passed in each of the 50 states. In January, a federal law is now passed connecting all of that for cyber laws. Cyber stalking is... is uh, it's not, uh, and, and the threat, it's not just threatening like you're going to kill somebody. It's intimidation. And if you think that, like, uh, aliases and all that stuff can't easily be found, I'm not saying I, I, hey, take me out of anything. I'm not doing anything. Remember, I was forcibly removed, and I'm living in a shelter right now. So it wouldn't be me, would it, Lindy? Would it? Anyways, add me on here if you want some, um, some interesting videos. I'm not sure what I'm going to do them about, but something. Uh, I will be full disclosure right now. I am trying to uh, make this kind of a side hustle, side gig. And uh, I have the subscribers, but I need five or 4,000 hours. So if anybody would like to just watch anything to help me get that up there, I would appreciate it. You don't have to mention anything because if you mention anything nice to me over in this area, you become a target. So I would suggest that you wouldn't do that. But if you just want to do it on the sly, that's fine. If anybody wants to reach out to me, I'll leave my email address in the description. As always, I will be a vault. Nobody will ever know that you do. And um, you can see just how nice uh, and normal I actually am. Now, giving, I actually am. And um, sometime you'll find out how fooled everybody's been. How fooled. And then you'll learn a lesson about that, that you can't always trust everything. That's why I trust nothing that I hear online, because I know the lies. I know what you, I've, what have I heard about myself that I knew I was friends with Peter Mon and Jeffrey Starr. I heard Steph uh, with the two Ps say that. No, no shame, Steph, but I heard you say that. And I'm like, where the hell did that come from? No, I mean, I'd gladly say that. It's completely not true. But let the, let, let the, like, because I never defended I didn't, it's not in my nature to defend because I just really want to go on. I never wanted any of this. But also, I've purposely not done that. Purposely let it all develop over here. And I am happy someplace else. This doesn't affect me at all. None of this does. Nothing that could be said, done, any of it affects me. There's, there's just zero but if anybody wants to reach out to me, it is N as in Nancy, I-C-H, M as in Mary, A-D-A, at gmail.com. You can add me on Twitter, and it's the same uh, name, Nikmada, N-I-C-H-M-A-D-A. I believe that is on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, I will not release, you know, anything you say or anything if you don't want that, because I don't want you being targeted after that's clear and the truth is out there, then maybe it can be a little bit more freer. Um, uh, if anybody is getting bullied or harassed over here, please, just like I did, I left one other places and you could freely be who you are. That's what I do. There are many of other places that you can go to. This area over here is, is just really quite small in comparison. Very small and very just different. It's just, once you go other places, it's like you feel like, it's in a weird way, you feel like you've traveled the world and come back to your little hometown, and you feel um, much different about everything. So, I don't know, I'm sure it's going to be said many more times that I'm trying to get in to here. No, if I wanted in here, I would strike up shop and do, I, do that. Why would I when I like where I'm going and I have too many places as it is? With that, um, I will, until my next video, you guys have a good evening. Take care.